Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at making Bluestacks run 100 times better and also run lag free. There's nothing worse than trying to play a game on Bluestacks and it's completely lagging all the time. If you haven't seen my first video on a few tips on how to increase the performance of Bluestacks, then click on the link that's in the description below and give all those tips a chance first, as these tips are completely different to those tips. Right, to start off with, first you need to open up Bluestacks and you need to click in the top right hand corner on the down arrow. You now need to click on settings and we now need to adjust our display resolution. At the minute mine is selected on system default, but if I was to change it to the lowest setting which is 1280 by 720 my games would run a lot smoother as there's less resolution for the game to draw on. But if it's still lagging on 1280 by 720 then you can click on custom size and we can actually change the resolution to something a lot lower. Like for example 1024 by 800, oh 576 sorry, it automatically fills in the next form for you. Which is great. The next thing is to change the DPI to low. And if we now restart Bluestacks we will be running in that custom resolution. And I can guarantee that you will see a massive impact on the performance of the games you are playing. The next tip is to go onto Engine and to select OpenGL and then select the max cores you can run on your CPU, which on my machine is eight. And turn the memory up to the max, which for me is 4 gig, which is 4096. If you can't select any higher than 1 or 2 on your CPU cores, then that means that you need to enable virtualization in your BIOS. I will do a video on how to do this, so remember to subscribe to my channel to get notified when I upload this video. Once you have selected the max you can, hit restart and then try and open up a game again on Bluestacks and then see how well the game plays. If you are still encountering lag and performance issues, then the next step is to right click in the bottom left hand corner of our screen and go to Task Manager. You now need to click on More Details and you simply just need to see what apps are running on your machine. For example, at the minute I've got Firefox open and it's using nearly 500 meg of my memory. And that's not good, that's 500 meg that could actually be allocated to Bluestacks to make Bluestacks run a lot faster. So if I right click on Firefox and go end task, then it will close Firefox and then I will have a lot more hardware for Bluestacks. And the same with OBS. At the minute it's using 5.4 of my CPU. But I actually need as much of that CPU as I can for Bluestacks. So you need to do the same again and close down the other programs that are all using your CPU. And that's also the same when it comes to your antivirus. Disable your antivirus, you don't need it when you're running Bluestacks and it will really help increase the performance of Bluestacks. The final thing to do is to go to the other link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to hit on download and you now need to press no thanks and continue. You now need to go save file and we need to run the setup file. We are about to install the latest version of DirectX and this definitely will help the performance of Bluestacks as well if you don't already have the latest update. Untick install Bing bar, we don't want to install that and we need to go next and it will now install the latest version of DirectX. And as you can see, I do have the latest version of DirectX installed on my machine, which is absolutely fine. 
So I can go ahead and press finish. One other thing that you could do is go back to your task manager and you could actually go across to services and you could actually go through all the list of services and just disable ones that you don't use. For example, at the minute Windows Search is running on my machine. I don't ever really use Windows Search, which means I can right click and just stop it for now and see if that helps improve the performance. Or I could even go to open services and I could permanently delete it in this list from ever booting up with Windows again. Like I don't have a printer, which means I could actually disable the printer spool as well. And all these services do use your hardware resources as well, which means disabling any of these will also help increase the performance of your machine. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.